How's it guys? Welcome back to FX Rhapsody. Today we're looking at price action. Three simple easy rules when it comes to price action trading. Uh, before we hit the charts, just go visit my website on the bottom left corner here where you can find previous um, videos regarding my trading, what I did on channels, nicely categorized. Um, for those of you that are starting out on trading, there's plenty more price action videos um, that I've made. So just go look at the categories and also um, preferred brokers. These guys are brilliant. You know, don't forget to check them out. So let's hit the, hit the charts. So when it comes to price action trading, it's one of the, um, I can say it is the biggest thing in trading. If you understand price action, then you will start trading much better. Your trading career will get better. You will start making more money, more profit, and uh, you just read the charts a lot better. That is, you know, price action is reading the charts without any indicators or anything like that. Um, and the better you get at price action, you know, the less noise and stuff you've got on your charts. So price action, you know, it is just the prediction of where price is going to go. And, um, you know, and once it does something, you just, you know, you take action and you enter. So the, the rules basically of for price action is, is very simple. Number one, you just identify the trend and structure. Number two is you prepare and predict. You know what is going to happen once it breaks a certain or once it does something and then number three is basically you just take action and you enter so um identifying this trend and structure is always done on a higher time frame we will do this example on a four hour time frame so euro usd is for currencies and where you can see that price is going on a downtrend as you can see it's a higher time frame so the trend is down then there's consolidation, then you see the movement towards the upside. And once you identify this move to the upside, this, bear, or this bullish movement, or it was previously bearish, turned into a bullish, you will start making profit. So what I always do is I look at the previous lows. I look at this low over here, of this high, excuse me, because we're going turning into an uptrend. So you, you want the previous high to be broken. And when... I'm just going to pull a trend line in here. So let's do that. Okay. So that is my previous low and once, or my previous high. And once I pull that, um, that line in there, I want to make sure that there's as much um, resistance on that line. And as you can see, there's some, some nice um, action being taking place on that line. So it, it acts as a big um, resistance area in the market. You can see price going up and down again and then just resisting that area and then once you see that break that's the break in structure right so you see that break and now you can see the movement towards the upside so once it happens then you prepare and predict so once this previous high is being taken out then it turns from where price action is um, from a higher high, okay, high low lower low high low lower low that's downtrend and when it starts moving towards the uptrend, it creates a higher high and then a higher low and then a higher high and higher low. That is your movement in price action. Right. So now once it happens, once it breaks that area, now you start preparing. You want to catch that pullback when it creates a lower low. You want to catch this area. And where you catch that is on your one hour time frame. That's just a time frame lower to your four hours. So you're predicting on a four hour you're getting the trend and then on a lower time frame you prepare predict and you take action okay so now on the hourly time frame exactly the same area we just saw it on the four hour so on the hourly time frame we can see that this break happened and then we had a retracement and this is the area that we'd be focusing on so where does it retrace back to now you start preparing and predicting what price is going to do so what i always do is you know, I use two things, or well, basically three, but it's the third one is always on my head. So I always look, and for those of you that seen my previous video, it's always the fair value gap area. Okay, there's a there's always going to be a fair value gap um, that creates or that price pulls back to. Number two is always an important tool, and that's always the Fibonacci. Okay, so you take your Fibonacci from that low to that high, and you wait for retracement. The reason I'm saying this is a low because we had a movement upwards and then a, a, a downwards movement. This is a, you know, 
anytime you find a bearish candle in between the bulls or vice versa that acts as a support and resistance area um, as a structure in the market so i'm taking my low over here my swing low to my swing high price is swinging and now we're waiting for a retracement to the 62 percent to 79 percent area okay this is the area that i'm looking for number three is one thing in price action that you always need to to either study or remember it's always in the back of your head and that is all obviously your candle patterns okay you need to learn your candle patterns your candlestick patterns um any trader needs to go through the just that thing about learning the candlestick pattern so as soon as you identify a candlestick pattern that happened exactly the one that's happened here you will see where price stands and that's your entry mark right so that is the, the area that you enter i don't always talk about candlestick patterns because it's a thing that's in my mind it's engraved in my mind i've seen so many of them i've looked at so many so it's always there right so that is where i enter my trade i wait for some type of a candlestick pattern to form and then i will enter my trade so there's confirmations there's a confirmation of the the retracement back to the 62 percent and then there's the confirmation of a candlestick pattern that forms in a bullish candlestick pattern and then it starts moving up so please guys on my website i've got under the resources there's a nice candlestick cheat sheet that you can download you know that's just uh, that's just some of the most important ones that I always know or learn or learned in the big in, in the past. So there's plenty of candlestick patterns. You don't need to know all of them, just you know the basic ones. So again, right here, entry, and then you can see this movement upwards. Right, that's a big movement. So that is price action, guys. So let's look at another example, and we're going to start on the four hour again. Okay, so now we've got another example on the four hour the previous one we looked at a bullish um, movement to the upside and now we're looking at a bearish movement like a swing from the high to the lows right so you can see this movement upwards is forming a lower low lower high lower low lower high and then you see structure being broken where do you see structure being broken always at your nearest in this case your nearest low because we want to see price moving from a upwards trend to a downward trend okay so that's your previous low this area has been broken with this candle okay again there's two it's three i always say two but there's, there's three so there's um, three methods of where you identify or or basically you've identified the trend now the trend is broken so structure has been broken so now you prepare prepare and predict again so that again you go to your lower time frames one hour time frame same area as the four hour so this was the area the price broke so we just extend this line so that i can just show you so that's the area that it's been broken okay we have asked, we've identified it as a trend being broken structure being broken so then you start looking at where you're going to enter okay you prepare yourself and you predict so um it's sorry we're talking about prediction but it's not just predicting the price it's I, I always say you need to act to what the price is doing but prediction is just basically you acting to what price is doing so you take your fibonacci tool again from that swing high to that swing low so it's the swing high price broke structure it retraced a little bit but then the big swing low at the bottom and price coming up again and right again it's right there guys in the 62 percent to 79 percent it's always that area so once it hits that area you need to look for candlestick patterns again it's just engraved in the head the more you look at candlestick patterns eventually the less you'll have to learn about it because it's all engraved in your head you something forms and you see it and you're like okay cool that's a bearish candlestick pattern or oh, that's a bullish candlestick pattern but um don't go too much into candlestick patterns you know just you need to just for a little bit of confirmation like yeah we saw price going into the 62 percent now we're waiting for some kind of a third com confirmation price action gives us the price action this is a what a bearish engulfing candle you know with a lot of doges and spinning tops so basically it happens and you see it happen 
and the price starts falling down. And as you can see, price going down and it gets carries on downwards even more. So guys, no indicators needed. I know I do a lot of videos um, regarding indicators because there is a lot of guys out there that wants to trade with indicators. Okay, but the best method of trading will be your price action. If you learn price action, and the, and the better you get at price action, the better you will get at your trading. So guys, that's all from my side. I hope you enjoyed this analysis or this um, training video, basically. Um, and if you did, hit that like button, hit that notification bell, and subscribe to my channel. There's definitely more video or trading content coming your way. And guys, I hope you've been having a wonderful, but full week. Stay safe and happy trading, guys. Yeah.